A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. One Sabbath day, he was walking through a field of ripe grain. As his disciples made a path, they pulled off heads of grain. The Pharisees told on them to Jesus, Look, your disciples are breaking Sabbath rules. Jesus said, Really? Haven't you ever read what David did when he was hungry, along with those who were with him? How he entered the sanctuary and ate fresh bread off the altar, with the chief priest Abiathar right there watching? holy bread that no one but priests were allowed to eat and handed it out to his companions then jesus said the sabbath was made to serve us we were in made to serve the sabbath the son of man is no lackey to the sabbath he is in charge the gospel of the lord It happens all the time among the siblings in our homes. How often have we come across kids running up to their parents, so innocent looking, but to complain that one of their sisters or brothers has done this or that or has broken some unwritten rules in the house? Imagine the Pharisees in today's gospel having that similar innocent looks as they confront Jesus. because Jesus' disciples have plucked and chewed some grain of wheat on the Sabbath. As paparazzi, they spied on Christ to see what he did, when he did it, and how he did it. The disciples broke the rules. Why? They are in big trouble. How often we hear in the church communities that this or that group is using the church premises or properties and perhaps we should stop them from using it. It is not because they have any special advantage by preventing someone from using the church space that they object it or complain about it. I suspect some people find some sort of happiness in getting others into trouble. That's the only reason for their complaints. Somehow, I can't point my fingers at the Pharisees of today's gospel. Their behavior reminds me of that part of my wrong self, the part of me that tries to catch someone else doing something wrong, the part of me that plays go to you kind of attitudes, the part of me that would consider myself better than the rest. It is the part of me that would make a big noise over some guys plucking and chewing grain as they stand in the field on a Sabbath. But Jesus uses the criticism by the Pharisees as an opportunity to talk about God's love for us. The Sabbath is a gift of God and not a burden imposed upon us. The person is more important than the norm when it comes to things that affect dignity and survival. It is up to us to carry it out in our daily life. Be like Jesus, attentive to the needs of one another. By the way, before being paparazzi of our brothers, let us remember the words of St. Francis de Sales. Before judging our neighbor, let us put him in our place and ourselves in his, and surely our judgment will then be right and charitable. Remember, when we are about to point our finger in criticism or blame, the Lord calmly reminds us that we are being silly and boring. The funny thing about it is that it does not take the wisdom of the ages to see through such petty behavior. All it takes is developing a habit of stopping and thinking for a moment before I open my mouth. 